Okay, now we want to look at the link between the policies and the funding programs. Now, the way the European Union operates is 27 countries sit around the table and they identify areas where they cooperate. So, for example, Germany has its own research program, Ireland, France, Italy, but the 27 countries agree to cooperate on research and innovation, and the name of the program is called Horizon Europe. Now, the financial cycle in Europe is seven years, and we're currently on the cycle 2021 to 2027. There's another program called InvestEU. Uh, there's another program called Erasmus for exchange of students. There's a program called Digital Europe. And in total, there are about 30 different programs. But the important message from this slide is that whenever you see a program like Horizon Europe, it is there to support the policies of the 27 countries working together. So we're going to see the link between the policies and the program. Now, in the workshop, there are lots of acronyms, European Union, uh, RTD, or whatever. So whenever I use an acronym uh, in, the, in the course, it's always at the bottom of the slide. And if there are lots of acronyms, it's on the slide directly under that in your, in your handout. So the first thing you need to do is to go onto this website at the top of the screen called the Funding Portal. So what I would recommend to you is to pause the video, scroll down the screen, and you will see the Funding Portal. And when you click on that, this screen comes up. And you see all the programs on border management, digital Europe, uh, Erasmus, and down here you will find Horizon Europe. And it just shows the, the range of programs that are there, and all these programs are there to support the policy. So pause the video, have a look at the website, and see uh, what the layout is like. So let's see what are the policies behind Horizon Europe. So 27 countries agree to put 95 billion euro on the table over seven years. And they said, OK, one priority is to make Europe a leader in science internationally. So they said, let's call this pillar one. So pillar one is about making Europe a leader in science. And we're going to look at these individual programs. Pillar two is different. Pillar two is about addressing global challenges, for example, climate change, cleaning the oceans, making Europe a leader in artificial intelligence. So in pillar two, science is a tool to do something. Now, COVID has changed everything. COVID demonstrated that science can be used to collaborate to tackle global challenges. So there's a huge expectation in Horizon Europe about having an impact. So in pillar two, science is a tool to have an impact on something. So when you're writing a proposal in pillar two, you begin the proposal with the impact, and then you say what science is going to do that. So pillar two is divided into six what are called clusters. So you can see there's one on health, energy, digital, and we're going to visit each of these uh, in the program. Now, Pillar 3 is different again. Pillar 3 is about copying America. America is the world leader in innovative companies. Now, just look around your table and look at all the technologies on your table. They're all non-European. So Europe is importing all these technologies from around the world. And in Pillar 3, they want to make Europe a leader in innovative companies. So the policies behind Pillar 3 is about making Europe lead in innovation, innovative companies. And you can see the clearly the difference between Pillar 1, Pillar 2, and Pillar 3, why the program is designed like this. So that's the structure of Horizon Europe. But there's another program. It's only 4% of the budget. But because it is so politically important, They've kept it outside of the pillars. It's called widening participation. It's about helping countries like Poland, Romania, Latvia, Estonia to get more involved. So it's a little program. It's not pillar four, 
but it's kept separate because it's so politically important. So when you go onto the website of Horizon Europe, uh, you'll see different layouts of this particular diagram. Now, just to explain the terminology of uh, Horizon Europe, the program runs from 2021 to 2027. And for each of the programs I showed you, the Commission publishes a work program. And the first work program covered the period 2021 to 2022. And the calls then are based on that work program. A second work program is published in 2023 to 2024. Uh, and then there will be a third work program. When a call is published, you're given about four months from the call to the deadline. So there's four months to compile the proposal. The results of the evaluation comes out less than five months after the deadline. If the project is successful, a grant agreement is agreed. The project could run for anything between three and five years and up to five years after the end of the project, there could be a financial audit. So this is the terminology and the language. But today's the workshops we're presenting is only covering the first part of this. It's actually the part of writing the proposal. We had other workshops covering the whole process. But today we focus on the actual uh, writing of the proposals. So where do we find the information? So what you need to do is after this slide, you need to pause uh, the video and on the link under the, under the video, you will see the portal and there you get the funding and tenders portal. I showed you on the previous slide where to find Horizon Europe. Then you will see a number of drop down menus. You go to how to participate. You will see a drop down. One of the drop down options is something called reference documents. And this screen comes up. You click on the work programs. You click on 2021 22. And here we are the work program. So there's the one on health. There's the one on security. There's the one on digital. And if you click on the digital work program here, it opens a document which is about 400 pages long. So you need everything you do in Horizon Europe is about this particular page. Now I've just saved you if you're if you're a newcomer, I've just saved you about